Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Everyone Can Learn Mathematics. Today we are going to investigate how least common multiple facilitates our everyday life by exercising some reasoning and problem solving. I believe we learn to think mathematically in the process of exploring and investigating the problems through reasoning and proofs. If you do not know how to find LCM of the given set of numbers, I would advise you to see my video where I explained finding the LCM of a given set of numbers. So let's see where we can apply our knowledge of LCM. Or in other words, how would we know if a certain problem can be solved by finding the LCM of the given numbers? So we use LCM when we need to purchase or get multiple items in order to have enough and to figure out when something will happen again at the same time or will be repeating over and over. Let's explore this application with examples. So here's the first example. In a game show, contestants need to press the buzzer when all three of the lights flash at the same time. Light A flashes every three seconds, light B flashes every six seconds, and light C flashes every nine seconds. Work out how long it will take for all three of the lights to flash at the same time again. If you would be one of the contestants and you know we can use LCM to figure out when something will happen again at the same time, you might be the winner. So the keywords that we need to pay attention are all three of the lights to flash at the same time again. So firstly, we need to write down the multiple of 3, 6, and 9, and then we will find the least common multiple. Here we can see that 18 is the least common multiple of 3, 6, and 9. That means all three of the lights will flash at the same time after 18 seconds. Now let's see the second example. Melissa visits Eamon every four days while Arta visits Eamon every five days. They both visited Eamon today. Eamon is planning to throw a surprise party for Melissa and Arta when they both come at the same day together. Can you help Eamon to find when Melissa and Arta visit her next at the same day? We would love to help Eamon, but if we know how to find LCM, it would make our work a lot easier. Because we know that we can apply our knowledge of LCM to see when an event will be repeating over and over. So here, the keywords that we need to pay attention are next at the same day. So firstly, we will write down the multiples of 4 and 5. And then we will find the least common multiple. Here, we can see 20 is the least common multiple. This shows that all three friends will meet after 20 days again at the same day. Here's our next example. Mia is organizing a charity hot dog sale. She went to the local supermarket to buy bread rolls and the hot dogs. There are 8 bread rolls in a pack and 5 hot dogs in a pack. Mia wants to buy exactly the same number of bread rolls as hot dogs. What is the smallest number of each pack that Mia can buy? Hmm. So the keywords that we need to pay attention are exactly the same number. Because we know we can apply our knowledge of LCM to figure out how many of the multiple items we need in order to have enough. So firstly, we will write down the multiples of 5 and 8 and then we will find out the least common multiple. Here we can see 40 is the least common multiple of 8 and 5. That means Mia needs exactly 40 bread rolls and 40 hot dogs. But the question is to calculate the number of packs that Mia needs to buy. So we would divide 40 by 8 to know how many packs of bread rolls Mia needs and we would divide 40 by 5 to see the number of packs of hot dogs Mia would need to buy. Now let's see one more example. Trains leave Manchester to Bristol every 15 minutes to London every 25 minutes. A train to Bristol and a train to London both leave Manchester at 11 a.m. At what time 
will a train to Bristol and a train to London next leave Manchester at the same time? So here the keywords that we need to pay attention are at the same time because we know we can use LCM to figure out when something will happen again at the same time. So we will write the multiples of 15 and 25 first and then we will find out the least common multiple. Here we can see that 75 is the least common multiple of 15 and 25. That shows that trains will leave Manchester after 75 minutes, that is at quarter past 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.